we have enough films about gay rights. It's about damn time we got some films about gay wrongs. Love Lies Bleeding is a movie about gay wrongs. This trailer, when I first saw it, it's probably one of the best trailers I have ever seen. And I think I left a comment on the trailer saying this movie had better be good so it doesn't diminish how good the trailer is. And I will say, I don't think the movie met my expectations, but I don't think it ruined the trailer either. Um, it's a weird and um, psychedelic film. It's a, it's a story about a, um, a hitchhiking bodybuilder who m meets up with a gym manager. They're both women. They hook up, they start a relationship, but the gym manager, her dad runs an organized crime thing. And a lot of that stuff is like, they don't explicitly say a lot of what is going on. They kind of, you know, there, there's more of like a montage thing where the show don't tell, but leave enough for you to be able to fill in the gaps. Go, okay, like they don't need to spell out everything that's going on here. You just, it's kind of more of an experience. And because the one of the characters uh jackie is, is a bodybuilder she's like she wants to go to vegas to participate in in a bodybuilding competition and she starts taking steroids and um the film is kind of psychedelic but in a way i haven't seen before and basically it's a lot of the film is us experiencing the her mental side effects of uh, steroid use like she um, you know, manic symptoms, aggression, paranoia. Um, and I don't know if steroids cause hallucination or if that was just more of a, you know, ar an artistic flair. But if you've seen the trailers, like there's shots of her, like, you know, taking the steroids and then like hulking out. And there are moments where in her steroid rage, she's becomes a bigger person. Like there's a scene where she's her head almost touches the ceiling. And th those those scenes are supposed to be like, you know, they're, they're not literal, like she didn't actually become a 10 foot tall woman or anything like that. But uh, it's like giving you the, the feel of, of how she is without like explicitly telling you, oh, yeah, no, this is all in her head. The way it's presented, it's just presented as, yes, this is what's happening. But even though like it's it's fairly obvious, like, OK, yeah, no, no, this this is part of her growing psychosis from some some bad side effects of steroid use um Luna Rose says yeah you can experience hallucinations on steroids well I you did MMA so I will trust you on that one almost everyone in this movie is kind of awful for some reason or another and like the people who aren't awful are like tragic and pitiable the the it's not like a it's it's a story of, about queer love um uh, but in a pretty toxic way people are doing bad things for each other to look out for each other but it's like it, it's all just a, a, a big mess but it is a really good ride i would say there's a lot of fun twists and turns a lot of really creative stuff like i said it's got some psychedelic stuff in there uh and i remember watching the trailers going like because like it shows some of that in the trailers but i was just like i'm not sure what this heightened reality stuff is going to be having it be psychosis brought on by steroid use is a very interesting a very interesting angle uh i definitely liked this film more than the other lesbian road trip film that i just saw which was uh drive away dolls and that's probably because drive away dolls was made by a uh, a straight dude and uh this was directed by a woman who i don't know if she's queer but well Kristen Stewart stars in this movie, and Kristen Stewart is queer as hell. Did anybody see that photo shoot she recently did? She's queer. So, <laughs> uh, I, I would recommend seeing this one. It wasn't as good as I had hoped it would be, but it is a lot of fun. Really great performances. Really gay. If you're gay, this is a gay movie for you. Hey, thanks for watching. Your view means a lot. Don't forget to toss me a like, and subscribe, and ring the bell. And drop a comment below telling me what you thought of the video. I stream Mondays and Fridays at 5 p.m. Pacific, so catch me live and join in on the convo. You can find all my socials in the description below, and thank you to all my patrons with a very special shout out to my Whale Shark tier patrons Ryan D and James Knight, and my Anemone Friend tier patron Piftle Cakes. Your support means the world. Catch you next time.